welcome back to my channel on today's video I will be doing the new mum tag and I saw this on someone else's channel but um, Emily Norris made this new tag and so I thought it would be fun to do so here we go number one what is your favorite mum hack my favorite mum hack would have to be getting everything prepared uh, the night before so that way in the morning because usually we're always up Belle and I are always up super early when we have to get going into Vancouver and so when I'm up at 5 30 the last thing I want to do is look for anything so I have all her stuff prepared her backpack her lunch ready in the fridge ready to just like grab and go and I even have all her clothes that she's wearing to change into that day uh, yeah I just feel more organized and less frantic when everything is all set to go number two most embarrassing mum moment hmm. I would have to say the most embarrassing moment would be when I take Bella to church and it is completely silent and all of a sudden she starts to scream or shout and everyone's kind of looking at you or looking at me and so then that's when I have to get up and go to the back of the church. Number three, what part of the day do you love the most? The part of the day I love the most is right before Bella goes down for her naps or right before bedtime because she gets all cuddly and is having her bottle and just loves to like touch my face and she stares right up at me and it's just like the sweetest thing and I just love those moments where she just wants to cuddle and give me kisses and just stares right into my eyes I think that's cute uh, what part number four what part of the day do you like the least see part of the day I like the least I guess it would be whenever I have to clean up after her because the whole house is just a mess now she's into taking all her toys out of the toy box or her books from the book box and just having it scattered all over the house in the rooms wherever so I end up having to pick up after her but now that she's one, I'm actually getting her to do it herself as well. Pretty much I do hand over hand, so I'm holding her hand and getting her to put things back in the boxes where they belong, so she knows to clean up after herself. We'll probably be doing this for a while until she totally gets it on her own to do it herself. Okay, number five. The worst thing someone said to you when you were pregnant? Um, I would have to say no one actually said anything pretty bad to me while I was pregnant, which is a good thing. I think what was really bad was even though I was pregnant and it was obvious that I was pregnant, when you go on sky trains and it's fully packed and there's like young people sitting in the reserve spots for like the elderly or I mean you would obviously give that up to someone who was pregnant and those kids don't. So I think that was pretty bad. Number six, baby name you didn't agree on, that would have to be Michaela. I loved the name Michaela, but my husband said no. Number seven, do you co-sleep? Currently, we do not. Before, when Bella was younger and she didn't know how to roll over, she would sleep with us here and there, but not that often. And now she sleeps on her own. Number eight, something you bought but never used. I had actually bought this newborn carrier and I've actually never used it. I've only just taken it out to try at home and that was it. Number nine, three hospital bag must-haves. I would have to say comfortable underwear, really big pads, and the third one would be snacks. Number ten, are you a routine mom or a go with the flow mom and what does bedtime look like? So I would say I am kind of a bit of both. I'd say I'm a routine mom in the sense that with their, with Bella's nap time or bedtime, she has a strict routine that she follows where she has her bottle, she gets changed into her sleep sleeper and then I sing her a song and then I put her down. 
that way when we do this routine she always has an idea of okay so it's bedtime and now I have to actually like rest my body and go to bed whereas for other things like whether we have plans to go out and do something if something happens obviously I'm really flexible in that sense that we just go with the flow if something happens and plans don't work out it's not a big deal we just do what we do figure it out then and then what does bedtime look like okay so yeah as I was saying for nap it's pretty much the same thing uh, Bella will usually go down around 7.30, 8, 8.30, depending on how late she slept in her second nap. And then she will get changed in her PJs, have her bottle, have a few cuddles, and then I will sing her Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and then lay her in her bed, and say goodnight, and walk away. Uh, where am I? Number 11, what type of labor did you have and what pain relief did you choose? I actually um, didn't even go through this because Bella was almost a month early. What ended up happening was I had a fetal monitoring appointment and they noticed that Bella wasn't very active and so they sent me to the hospital to go get further testing and then I guess after that she still wasn't active and then the surgeon suggested that I have her delivered right that day which is pretty shocking because I knew she would come early but I didn't think almost a month early but thankfully everything was fine and she was a happy and healthy baby but that was quite a shock just to have her come that early and having a c-section because in my mind I guess I thought that I would have a natural birth but you just do what's best for your baby and to make sure that they he or she is healthy and so that's all that mattered to me uh, have you ever been mum shamed I would have to say no I have not Number 13, the biggest challenges you've faced since becoming a mom? I would have to say putting, like remembering to take care of myself. Usually I am the last person that I think of. It's always Bella first. She gets fed first. She gets like everything taken care of. And then sometimes there are some days where it's three o'clock and I actually haven't eaten the thing and it's because I was busy taking care of her then once she's down for a nap I do bottles I clean up that type of thing so I'm learning to actually remember about me and taking care of myself as well uh, number 14 the best bit of advice you'd ever been given and the biggest piece of advice you'd give to someone else okay so the best piece of advice that I was given I would say is just take it day by day it's going to be hard like that's just the reality having a newborn being your first child not knowing anything is tough like there will be days where you want to pull your hair out and you just want to cry and scream because it's so hard you're not sleeping the baby's crying there's nothing that's gonna help calm them down but you just remember day by day and you'll get through it if all the other women ahead of you has done it before then I'm sure you can too and it gets easier I know when you're tired and it doesn't look like there's any light at that end of the dark tunnel there really is and whenever you just look at your baby like I know I'd have those days where it was like really bad and I was so tired but as soon as I stare at Bella and I just look at her I'm just like I can do this I can do this so yeah just take it day by day and you'll get through it. The biggest piece of advice that I would give would be remember to laugh. It's going to be stressful, things are gonna be tough, especially when you have a lack of sleep, but you just gotta remember to just have a good time and joke around and be silly. I know that's probably like the last thing on your mind, but as they say, laughter is the best medicine. And in order to get through the tough times as a new parent, you gotta learn to laugh and just enjoy all these little moments with your little one because they grow up way too fast. And once they're old, 
or older, you'll wish they were babies again. So yeah, that's my piece of advice. Make sure to laugh. And number 15, who is your mom crush and who do you tag? Uh, my mom crush would be Kristen Dominique. She is a beauty uh, guru on YouTube. She is gorgeous and seems pretty down to earth. And who do I tag? I tag all the mamas out there and whoever wants to do this video. All right, so that was the 15 questions. I will make sure to write down the list in the description box in case you were interested in doing this. And I will see you guys. Oh, as always, if you're new to my channel, I'm Angie and I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel so make sure you smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to leave comments down below if you end up doing this and you want me to read it let me know that you did it and that's it have a great day and I'll see you in the next video bye